Thank you for reaching the Social Security Administration. Kimberly Johnson speaking. How can I help you? Yes, I got a call, a, a voicemail to call this number about my Social Security. Something wrong with it. Wait. Were you provided with a case ID number? No, no number. I didn't hear it. If there was okay, one, can I, I, have your, I didn't hear it. Can I have your first and last name, please? My first name is Sess. C-E-S-S. -S. And your last name? Poole. P-O-O-L-E. You don't have a middle name? Oh, middle initials D, as in David. Okay, can you please verify your social security number for me to pull up your file? Zero eight six one zero one four six three. The last number is sixty three? Yes. Okay, hold on a minute, please. Let me verify this. Oh, okay. Can I have your date of birth, please? Three sixteen fifty. The month of March the sixteenth is nineteen fifty? That's correct. Oh god, I love this number. Uh Mr Paul, can you please repeat your social security number? I think I have I have one number. Zero eight six one zero one four six three. Okay. David, have you ever lived in the state of Texas before? Pardon me? Have you ever lived in the state of Texas before? Yeah, sure. I used to live there. I used to live there a long time ago. I worked on an armadillo farm down there. Have you ever shared your social security number with anyone? No, well, the farmer I worked for down there had it because that's how I got paid. But the armadillos, we'd plant them and then we'd have to water them and all that stuff. So he had it. There are two criminal activities filed against your social security number. Huh? One is drug trafficking, another one is money laundering in the state of Texas. Why? Well, I'm not there now. I'm in New York now. I beg your pardon? I'm in New York. I'm not in Texas anymore. I, that was years ago I worked on the armadillo farm. The harvest was the hardest part. But I, I back in New York, I mean, I just went down there to work one couple of years, and that was back in the 80s. No, there are criminal activities filed against your number, and there is evidence against you in the state of Texas. But I'm not in Texas. I'm in New York. I know, but these criminal activities don't need you to be around. You can hire someone to do it because every evidence who, is pointing to you. Who would I hire? I, 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 I'm not understanding this. I don't know. Okay, now I want you to listen to me very carefully. Oh, okay. I'm going to give you enough chance for you to explain it. Okay, go ahead. There was an abandoned car on the south border of Texas. The residents called us, and when we investigated the car, we found out that it was rented from budget rental car services on the 15th of March, sorry, on the 15th of February, uh, and this car was rented in your name using your personal social information. Well, I, I never rented a car down there. So when we investigated the car further, inside the car we found some blood on the dashboard and some drugs inside it. Oh, uh -uh. There were two addresses linked to the title of this vehicle. The car I'm talking about, it was a Toyota Corolla, black in color, number plate TX-9820. You recognize that car? No, 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 I don't have that kind of car. I got an American car. I got no. a Ford F-150, 4 by 4 So as I was saying, when we investigated the car, yeah. we found out that it was rented in your name using your personal social information, and there were two addresses linked to the title of this vehicle. One address was just to misguide us, was but who? then the second address, one address, the first address we went to. Okay. It was just to misguide us, and this was in Houston. Misguided. Uh, we just got misguided by this address. Oh. There was nothing mm, there. Nothing there, okay. We went to the second address in Roulette, Roulette, Texas. Okay. Unfortunately, we didn't find anyone at the residence, but in the same place, 
they recovered 22 pounds of cocaine and documentations of financial institutes like Chase Bank, Bank of America, U.S. Bank, Key Bank, Frost Bank, Capital One Bank. Well, All I, these documents had your I name. I don't have any of banks. We went ahead and investigated with these banks and we found out that money has been wired. A lot of money, by the way. A lot? Okay. It has been wired locally and internationally, which is very, very suspicious. It is very suspicious. That is why yes. we opened up a case against you. Against for me? For drug trafficking but I didn't wire, and money I didn't laundering. Wire, I didn't wire money anywhere. All the evidence is pointing to you, David. David? Who's David? The only, says David Paul. The only reason why we have not yet put out your arrest warrant is because we made a background check on you and you had no problem with social security. Oh, social but security? Is, no, I never had a problem with them. Uh, but this is pointing but with the Texas you. Rangers, that's another problem I had. But that, like Are I said, that was back in the 80s with the Texas yes. Rangers. I had a little problem. Been drinking, racing up and down, all around. I had no insurance. They didn't quite take to that. But, but that's when I was back working on the armadillo farm, so that was years ago. This is pointing us to you, sis. But that drugs we found, we found documentations of banks but, in your name. But it's not me. We I'm, found a car rented in you. your name. Who has your social security number? Like I told you, the farmer I worked for down there, Hopalong Cassidy, had it, but that was 1980s. He's dead now. I, he it still wouldn't be there. Your children, your family, your wife don't have your social security number? No, I would. My, my wife does, but she hasn't been to Texas. I was in Texas long before I met her. I was back in the 80s. I'm going to transfer this call to my senior officer, but let me first verify some information with you. Okay. You say you don't own this 22 bank account? No, nope, I do not. Okay, what bank do you bank with? Because you want to depreciate which information is yours and which information is not yours. Chitty Bank. Chitty Bank. Yes. In here you have a saving or a checking? I got both checking and savings. What is the approximate balance on savings? Oh, probably twelve hundred, thirteen hundred, maybe. Like twelve hundred or thirteen hundred dollars. Right. And on the checking, how much do you have on this account? Probably nine hundred. Is this the only bank account affiliated to your social security number? Yeah, that's all I got. Just the Titty Bank. Okay, I wanted to transfer the, all this information to my senior officer. That is why I was asking you. Oh, okay, yeah. Please hold on the line tell, and Tell him it wasn't me. I, didn't, I wasn't in Texas. Tell him that. I didn't rent You're going car. to tell him yourself. Oh, I'll tell him. Because I'm going to transfer the call. Oh, okay, I'll tell him. Okay. Thanks for being hold. Your call has been transferred to me. Senior investigation officer from the DEA. My name is Uttam Dillon. Can I have your name, please? Yes, first name is Sess, C-E-S-S, -S. last name Fool, P-O-O-L-E. Okay, very good afternoon, sir. How are you doing today? Good, good. But that lady was saying something about Texas and card rented and bank accounts. I don't know about that. Okay, so you're trying to say that you are not the one who is doing those kinds of somebody else is using your... No, 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 that's what I'm saying. I'm saying that. I'm not trying. I am telling you it's not me because I told that lady it wasn't me. I was in Texas mm -hmm. back in the 80s. I worked on the armadillo farm. And, no. And we'd plant them armadillos and then we'd harvest them. But that was back in the 80s, and that's the only person that had my social security number was the armadillo farmer, Hoplon Cassidy, had it. But he's dead now, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. Now, let me tell you something. That okay. In that situation, I, I really want to ask you some questions. Like, oh. have you ever lost your wallet before? No, never lost my wallet, no. No. Have you ever used your social security number online for a loan purpose or something like that? 
No, I've never got a loan online. No, because it's too easy to get scammed with those online loans. I heard they were bad. They charge you a whole bunch of interest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you recall someone from your past who maybe tried to take the revenge from you? Oh, there's quite a few people who'd want to take revenge, but how would they get my social security number? I mean, you make so enemies on an armadillo farm. I mean, it's just, I don't know, it's bad. But it was a good job while I had it. But that was back in the 80s, so those people aren't around me. Now I'm in New York. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in that situation, what I was going to do, I was going to put your case on a hold. Okay. I was going to cancel the arrest warrant. Okay, I good. I was going to uh, block your social security number. And oh, wait a minute, you what? You're going to block it? Do you want to continue with the social security number which has been possessed by somebody who is using your crimes like a drug trafficking money laundering? Well, why don't you take it away from them and leave me mine? I don't know. I do, How do I, I know? I've had that How number for we... years. I mean, I've had that number since How... 1966, sir. But how do we know that who is using your social security number? That is the reason we need your help, so we can catch that person who is using your social security number. Until the time we haven't talked with you, we have that kind of impression that you are the one who is doing those crimes. But when we go well, to I'm your past, the one. listen. Okay. Listen, let me okay. tell you. Okay. The states, I'm nervous. The United I'm nervous, States sir. of America. Okay. United States of America. Yes, the court, I know. The court committee members always believes in the evidence they don't believe in theories because whenever we catch any criminal they say the same thing that i am not the one who is doing this crime and, and that's okay. why they have to be proven guilty in court yes you're correct yeah yeah so that is the reason i'm here so i can record each and everything and i can send them then to prove them that you are not the one who is doing your this crimes that somebody else is using your social security no. number okay. so that I need to block your social security uh, number and we will what, gonna allow you a new one. But what about my Medicare and social security that I get? Whatever the sources are linked with your existing social security number, that will be automatically linked with the new one. So okay? I'll still get my social security and Medicare? You will get everything, all the benefits and all the stuff. Okay. You don't have to worry about that. Okay. And let me tell well, you something. Okay. Okay. I hope your case officer already told you that we got around 22 bank accounts and 13 credit cards, which has been listed under your social uh, she security told, She told me about number. the bank accounts, but okay. she didn't say anything about credit cards. No, I only got yeah. one credit now, card. I got a Visa. Me, now, let I me tell you something. The government bank. has decided. Yeah, they, okay. The government has the government has decided, decided to block okay. your social security number well, okay. and shut down and shut down each and every bank account which has been associated with oh, your social okay, security Okay, but you're not going to shut mine down, afraid. right? Are you going to shut mine yeah, down? Yeah, that's what I'm that is what I'm afraid of. That oh, if we will do that even your personal bank uh, account. Oh, will I know, be I'm afraid of that. I don't want that. So first I will going to help you how we can secure the funds which you have in your bank account and then I will go ahead and block it. Okay. okay, right now I'm not going to block anything first. I'm going to help you to secure okay. the money, secure the hard and sweat and money which you have in yeah, your bank I got, account. Yeah, well, yeah, it's hard earned. I mean, I worked years. So you do me a favor. I worked so on you the do armadillo a farm and then I, I, I left and went to the cucumber farm. You know. no I was like so, a traveling farmer, you know. I traveled mm -hmm. from farm to farm to farm to farm and I made pretty good money. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's good. Now, uh, the bank which we are banking with is a TD bank. In your savings, you have yes. a 1200 In your checkings, you have a 900 correct? Right. And, a pro and do you have any other, other accounts, like a money market or something like that? Oh, I don't. I never made enough money at the Armadillo Farm for that. No, I don't have that. I, I live on my Social Security. That's why I'm so worried about it getting canceled. Mm -hmm. No problem. So we can do one thing. Uh, okay. You can write down something, which okay. is okay. write it down. Okay. Federal. Okay. Federal deposit deposit security security locker yeah. locker yeah I'm, I'm writing federal this. deposit security locker okay I got it wrote down okay now then write down okay federal federal security card security cards card. okay yeah Okay, I then write down. down. Oh, I gotta write more. Okay, go ahead. 
and then write down government certified stores. Government certified stores. Certified stores. Stores. And then write down, of yeah, course. and then write down social security office. Social security office. Okay, yeah. I got all now these this, written down. Those are the, Federal deposit, the, security locker, federal security cards, federal government certified stores, and social security office. Yes, Is those right? are the four steps. Okay. Yeah, those are the four steps will going to help you okay. to mm, secure the money which you have in your bank account. Okay. Now, what you need to do is you need to go to the Social Security office and they will going to open this federal deposit security locker for you for next 24 hours. Okay. 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 Now, let me tell you what does that mean. Federal deposit security locker we allot to those citizens who are involving in a money laundering activities and who are innocent and who want to secure their hard and sweat and money. We will allot you this locker for next 24 hours where you can secure your money. And once you get your new social security number, whatever the money you have submitted in this federal deposit security locker, that will be reflect back to your respectively okay. bank account. I got it. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. Now, okay. let me tell you, it's uh, very important. So I got to go to the Social Security office, right? Yeah, and they will going to open this federal okay. deposit security locker. But there is a very important information how you can transfer the money which you have in your bank account to this federal deposit security locker because the Social Security people will not going to accept your debit card, credit card, cash, or check. You know why? If somebody I can open a 22. No. If somebody can open a 22 different bank accounts under your name, he can see right. your transactions as well. And oh. if he will see that you are dealing with the federal government, there is a chance where he will run away from the situation. So what we will do, Whoa, we will I, go and take I, the I, help. I, I, I really don't care if he runs away. I want my money. If he runs away, who will be in trouble? You. Me? Because what you are the him? primary suspect of the case. He's the one that ran away. I didn't. Listen. Listen, let me tell you, oh. we don't have any proof against whatever the person is using your social security, he's using your identity. And according to law, you are a criminal. We no, have all the proof I, I don't against know, you. not according to law. I'm not a criminal. So that is the reason I'm talking with you, sir. Otherwise, I don't talk with criminal. Okay? Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Now, in order to secure the money which you have in your bank account, as no. I told you, they will not going to accept your debit card, credit card, cash, or check. No, they only they accept. Won't the federal security cards okay and federal security cards will be easily available Easy. at any of the oh. convenience store convenience any of the government store. certified store okay. Yes. okay first you need to go to the bank you need to withdraw the funds in a cash and oh. then i will tell you what is the name of the store where well, you can they let me take it out even isn't that locked my accounts i don't know i thought you said they froze the accounts. we didn't do anything anything we didn't do anything yet Remember I told you first we will secure and you don't need to withdraw all of the money. You need to keep fifty dollars in your savings and fifty dollars in your checking. Oh, so I get to keep I get to keep a hundred dollars. That's good. Okay. Okay. And yeah, one more thing. Uh, one, and you need to stay thing. connected with me all the time. All so the do you have time. enough battery in your cell phone? Oh, it's full. Yeah, I don't use it that much. That's great. Yeah. That's great. And it's one more phone. thing as well. So the battery lasts okay. a long time on these things. It's not like a modern uh, you, modern one, you know what I mean? Back in back in nineties. Yep, yep, that's what I got. Yes. No, that's great. That's great. And one more thing, we really don't have any idea who is using your social security number. I don't want to disrespect anyone, but that could be your bank, that could be my your bank. Friends, family members, neighbor. That could be anyone. How would so my make sure bank until, do it? I don't understand the Concept. Now let me tell you how. Let me tell okay. you how. Okay, those okay. criminals which I'm talking about, what they target? They target the employee of the bank. They target the employee of the tax firms, and they offer them that much of money which they never deny to release the information of the. Oh, that that's bank. how they do. Okay, okay. Okay. That's so how that they is, I'm got. not telling you that yeah. your bank is bad or something like that because I'm no one to put a finger on that kind of big organization like no. TD Bank. TD Bank. But it no, might be you happen. can't accuse TD Bank, I don't think. Yeah. So that is the reason, but I don't want to take any chances. So when you're inside the no, bank, just in case, you have to be very right. careful. Okay, I'll be careful yeah. in the bank. I won't tell the lady at the TD Bank 
I don't know what I'm going to You can simply tell them, uh, you can simply tell them I'm going for a vacation or something like that. That's the reason I want to withdraw the money. Oh, what else I'm going? going to away Where should I tell her I'm going? I can't think of no place to you go. Can, you can say anything. Otherwise, you can tell them I'm going. Uh, maybe I could tell her I'm going to Niagara Falls. There's a casino up there I go to. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. That's great. So just let me know once you reach the parking lot of the bank. Okay. Reach the parking lot. I'm going there now? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, and I, I will be on the line. Uh, all right. Well, I got to get, get my stuff and go to my truck. Okay. Let me go. I'm going to put you in my pocket. Sure. started okay hello yes sir yeah okay i got the car started i'm going now to the bank okay just let me know once you park your car at the parking lot of the bank how much time do you think it will take oh it's only down the street it'll take me a couple minutes to get there okay no problem hello hello Yes, sir. I'm in the bank parking lot, huh? Okay, now you can simply go inside the bank, withdraw the funds, keep 15 in your savings, 15 in your checkings, and rest of it, just withdraw it. Put the phone on your speaker in your hand, otherwise in your pocket, and make sure um, you my, handle the uh, My flip out. phone, if I, I can't put it on the speaker unless it's open. Okay, no problem, so put the phone in your hand, okay? You want me to walk in with my phone in my hand? Okay. Yeah, and I will not gonna say, I mean, even you will not gonna talk to me inside the bank once you withdraw it, just come out so then talk to me, okay? Okay. Hello? Yes, sir. I'm back, I'm back in my car. How much did you withdraw? I left 50 in each. Okay, but how much did you withdraw? It'd be uh, 1150. I'm sorry? 1150? From savings and what about checkings? Eight fifty. Okay, in total, how much do you have? I don't know. I got a whole bunch of money here. Count it. Two thousand. Okay, now you can simply go to any of the government certified stores nearby you. I thought you had to go to the Social cards. Security office. You said. I remember I told you that uh, they will not gonna accept the uh, debit card, credit card, cash, or check. They only oh, accept the government. Oh, you didn't tell me that. No, card. no, you didn't tell me they won't take cash. No, I told you, sir. That the money laundering is in pile against your name. So do you think they will accept the cash from you? No. Yeah, you're right. Okay. So you need to get your money loaded in a uh, government certified cards, which is available in a government certified stores. So do you have any government certified stores nearby you, like Walmart, Best Buy, Target, or something like that? I've got a Target. Target. Mm -hmm. How much time it will take to reach a Target? Down the, it's only down the main road. We only got one main road here. It's right down the road. Okay, no problem. Just let me know once you parked your car in the Target parking lot. Okay. Once you parked your car, I will let you know what is the name of the car where you can get from the store. Okay. Okay, hello? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm Target parking lot now. Okay, now you can write down the name of the card where you can get from the store. Okay, what is it? The name of the card, it's Target gift card. Have you ever purchased a Target gift card before? No, I don't bought one, gift cards. Mm -hmm. I, thought it was a, a, I, th I thought it was a security card. Yeah, that is a security card. That is absolutely correct. But the reason we don't want anyone to know that you are dealing with the federal government, so that is the reason. It's just suppose if somebody is following you, he will think that you are uh, just going somebody to following me. Something. You think there's somebody following me? I don't think so, but maybe. Uh, who oh, knows? maybe. I don't want to take any chances. I don't want to take no okay. chances. Okay. So you can simply go inside. You can get four for four Target gift card for five hundred dollar each. Okay, and yeah, I have a question. If they were gonna ask you for what reason you need those cards, so what you will tell them? For the federal deposit safety locker. 
Sir, you sound like a, you are a very intelligent person. I told you that we are not allowed to say a single word about this case. I am intelligent, yeah. So you have to come up with a very good idea how what you will tell them. Oh, if they I don't. Specific. I can't make stuff up too good. I don't know. I'm nervous. You can tell them I have a get together now. party at my home. That's the reason I party. want to those gift cards. To I them. need four gift yeah. cards for a party. Right. Yeah, because of uh, some special that guests. That don't are even make sense to, to me, but okay. Mm -hmm. But do you, you can tell me something which makes sense for you. I'm gonna buy a new TV. Mm -hmm. Buy a new TV with a Target gift card. Yeah, I think so. No problem. I will be on the line with you. You can simply go inside and you can try to get. And if you face any problem, you can come outside and talk to me. Okay? Okay. Hello? Yes, sir. I'm, I'm back in the car. I got four of them. Okay. Now, can you please tell me the time on the receipt? The time? 4.20. That should be on the receipt. Yeah, it's 4.15, it says. Okay. Now grab the first card in your hand. Okay. I thought I had to bring these to Social Security office, you said. Should I go there now? I need to register the card under your name so I can put your case on a hold to cancel the arrest warrant, and then I will make an appointment for you where you can go there. Okay. Okay, I got it opened. Huh? On the back of the car, you are able to see a silver peel off. Yep. Yes. Yes. You can use your car keys or you can use a penny to scratch it off. Just let me know. I once got a you quarter. Ready with can the I use card. a quarter? That's all right. I got a qu I'm got a penny. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm ready once you are. Ready for what? I, I don't know what card we're doing. Number. Oh. Zero four one two one four three zero nine 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 six six nine zero. And there should be a excess number as well. Zero nine seven six two one two six eight three four. Sir, you need to go slow. I go slow zero where? Nine. Where am I going? You need to go slow while while you are reading this number. Zero nine. Zero nine seven. Six mm -hmm. two one two six one eight four. Access number is not that much of big. That should be contained maybe six oh, digits. Oh, fuck! I'm reading the event number. You, you want the access number, right, Benchode? Yeah. Okay. Zero nine seven six two one two six. You got the number, Benchode? I'm sorry. I said we got the number, Benchode. What does that mean? What does what means? I asked you if you had the number. No, ben the Chode. access number is incorrect. Ah, I'll be a Ben Colody fucker. What are we going to do now, scammer? <laughs> you scamming fuck. Mm Hi, -hmm. ah, you scamming bastard, you. Social Security Administration. I was talking to, to Ute, I was talking to Autumn Dillon, and I got disconnected. I'm at the Target. You are talking to Autumn Dillon and you are disconnected? Yes. All right, let me transfer you. Okay, okay. Can you hold yeah, the line? Thank yeah, because you. he said not to disconnect and I don't know what happened. All right, let me transfer you. Uh, to oh, okay. All right. Yes, hello. Hello, you scamming bastard. How are you? I'm not fine. Oh, how's, how's work today? You fuck. <laughs>